I'll take two ounces. Right. You don't need so much now there's no man in the house. No, no, I suppose not. Not in quantity, no. Still, now you should be uh, spoiling yourself for a few little uh, luxury items. Not you know. after a lifetime scrimping and saving. Oh, well, uh, put it this way. After a lifetime of uh, scrimping and saving, you should be able to afford a few little luxury items. Oh, I've got a bit tucked away. Yes. You can keep it tucked away, Mrs. Bell. <laughs> I intend to. Yes, I can, I can tell that by your expression. And, of course, I had him insured. It brought me a lump sum. Oh, yes, it's very sad. Brings a lump sum to the throat, doesn't it? I suppose financially I've never been as well off. No, that's true, of course, that's very true. But, mind you, how long will it last if you keep uh, lashing out on two ounces of corned beef like this? I shall continue living simply. Oh, you've no idea how that sort of common sense Warms the heart of a shopkeeper. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's lovely when it all quietens down. There we are, Mrs. Burford. Oh, dear. Well, don't tiptoe about there, Granville. Come in. What in a hangman have you got there? That is a bargain. <laughs> it's dripping oil, your bargain. Oh, eh? good Granville. Fetch your cost dripping in front of a lady. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> what does he want with that thing? What does he want? I don't know what he wants. Who can they tell at his age? Only last week I caught him sneaking off with an entire uh, ginger cake, you know. A ginger cake? Oh, yes. We've got a new batch in. It's irresistible. <laughs> All it needs is a new clutch. And uh, a few more raisins. He's right. <laughs> now, listen, Granville, I hate to criticise, but in this subdued light, this looks like an old, old lawnmower. Yes, it is a lawnmower. <laughs> Aren't we overlooking something, uh, Mr Thrower? We haven't got a flaming lawn. <laughs> oh, no, we haven't got a lawn. <laughs> I've, I've raised a buyer. All these years I've been trying to bring him up as a seller, and now he turns out to be a, a, a buyer. <laughs> I've bought it for the engine. Oh. I'm going to fix it to the shop bike. Oh, oh, oh. Morning, Mr. Crates. Good morning, Bert. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at all them uh, the poor buns, look. That's ingenious. A mower just inside the doorway. Makes you wonder why other shops haven't thought of that. <laughs> Should we make sure he's all right? Granville. First thing to do in case of an accident is to consider the, the legal position, which is quite plain on first principles. What principles? Deny all responsibility. <laughs> well, he comes about bouncing in here, uh, kicking an old lawnmower in off the street. Off the street? It was in here. Now, who in their right mind would uh, leave a lawnmower in here? It was in here. What, an old mower? I walked through that door and... Woof! I'm going before we get to needing witnesses round here. Granville, don't touch that bond. Never touched it. Never touched it. Once we touch that bond, we have accepted a delivery. And uh, what we are going to do with a load of older uh, damaged buns that have been all over this filthy floor, I don't know. They were not damaged buns when I came in here. I understand that, Bert. I realise your predicament. Let's have a, ch a chat about it outside, Predicament? Shall we? What predicament? Well, you're going to have a devil of a job trying to get an offer for them old buns now, aren't you? <laughs> don't hang about, Granville. Start picking up our buns. I thought you said they weren't our buns. They will be in a minute, you barn pot. 